Hey gang, how you doing? This is Will, your host with Somewhere in America, and I'm here with my tip again today, putting it all together. Stay tuned. So what do I mean when I say putting it all together? Guys, if you remember in a couple of past, uh, uh, past episodes, I did something, a DIY, a DIY gadget right here, where I took and I put a cone to get a directional flow of light on my speed box, I mean on my speed light here. So what I do is, I, what I'm gonna to do today is I got a model coming over, he's a young man, he's, gonna, he's playing a violin. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to concentrate that light coming straight down on him, pretty much at an angle a little bit. And then back here, what I've done is that I've taken an old, I've taken an old uh, curtain or screen of vi a vinyl, a blind or something, wooden. And I got behind here my speed light with uh, two gels in there. It's a gel that will equal close to, to like the sun. And what I want to do is that in the background, all I want to get is just to get like a, just a little um, a gobo look, not bogo, but gobo, but uh, <laughs> not go, not be, not a bogo. That's a buy one get one free, but a gobo, okay? And that's just gonna just create some kind of uh, light in the back, and it's gonna be kind of like a a, a, a newer look with his violin. It's gonna be real moody, and it's gonna be real nice. So. Um, the models get ready to come over in about a little short moment here. And I'm, I've already got everything set up to exactly how I want it to be. I've already got my settings. I'm gonna be shooting him at F8, okay? Uh, 200, ISO 200. And um, at 1 60th of a second, um, I have my speed light back here. Uh, that's gonna be, the power that it's gonna have on it is going to be, um, at 132 power and that's just enough power to get a nice little uh nice little pattern back here going on the gray uh background so other than that hey i'm going to show you guys in just a hot second i'm going to be utilizing this and we're going to experiment it with it and get this to actually work for us and come up with some pretty pretty interesting shots here so stay tuned Talk with y'all in a second. Hey, so we have our model here today. It is Chris. Chris is right there and he has his violin with him and we are all ready and set up to get ready to go. All right, here's my tip for you guys real quick on this, okay? What you wanna do is that you wanna ensure that when you're using this little snoot that I have right here, that you catch, that you, that you play with it a little bit and try to get the light exactly where you want it to be, okay? I'm gonna be showing some images after this. And we're gonna go ahead and shoot because I want, want Chris to go ahead and relax. I don't wanna have any issues. I'm gonna be using my 50 millimeter lens, okay? I'm gonna be shooting at 1 60th of a second, ISO 200, F8, okay? My light is gonna go through back over here, through my uh, little blind over here with the gel that I have on there set up looking like it's simulating like the sun. Just gonna give a little mood right behind my subject, okay? And that is gonna be shot at, I mean, the light is gonna be coming through there. I thought it was 132 power, it's gonna be actually 1 16th of power, okay? So, we got everything set up, we're ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some shots and get it going and take a look at these um, images at the end, guys, and tell me what you think. Give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe. Other than that, I'll just see y'all in just a hot second. Talk with y'all later, bye. So here I'm with Chris and he's positioned himself. He's ready. I have my DIY snoot that I did. He's primping himself a little bit. He was really excited about it. Chris actually came ready for this uh, shoot today. And I mean, he was just really excellent. Um, he took direction very well. And I love when I have a model that can take direction very well. He listened and he understood. I mean, look at him, he's just so attentive. Um, I had to reposition the snoot here. And as I told you in the beginning of the video, a lot of times you, you gotta play around with this DIY snoot. Even if you purchase a snoot, you gotta play around with it to position it just right because you want that light to be dramatic on your subject. I took his, his little, uh, 
the time wave from because I wanted I wanted to show him how I wanted him to hold just the violin itself as if he was um, this was the most important thing to him in the world. As we go into the images right here, you'll notice that the, how the light drapes dram dramatically over Chris and you see the sharp shadows. Don't be afraid of dark, sharp shadows. They can dramatically enhance your subject. And um, by adding that speed light going through that little uh, blind in the back, it really, really gave it a newer look, a more dramatic look. I really like this image right here of how his face is kind of in shadow, but is in light and how the light is just um, draping over him. I really like what I did here as I let the light hit just the violin. But if you notice that because of the reflection from the violin, it gave him a little feel in his face as it did a little bit in here as well. And that the violin is the most important part of the um, piece as well as Chris. And that's what I talked about in my last video when I talked about uh, creating, commercializing your images. This image right here, I actually really like this because I did this in alien skin and I wanted to give him a more of a 70s kind of look. Um, I changed up from the snoot and went to my um, just my softbox because I wanted to give his parents some more images uh, that they could really just have for themselves. Here, right here, this is actually what I'm talking about when I say commercializing your model or your subject. By this, it looks like he's advertising um, the violin and how important this particular type of violin is that he could he could work for any ad agency. Um, really, really nice um, how that light is soft on him and how the, this image really right here would really work as a great stock photo. You could add actually make money in stock photos. A lot of photographers run from stock photography. Don't ever do that. This is really cool. Now this instrument right here, this is actually not an instrument. I majored in fine art and in my three dimensional class, I created these instruments that you're seeing out of old chairs. So I wanted to give him another prop to add. And um, this is actually a cello that I made right here um, that I wanted him to look as if he was playing the cello that I had made, that I had created out of an old rocking chair. Uh, pretty cool images. Um, really, really enjoyed working with Chris right here. Um, he was trying to lift him up. He said, this was a little lighter, but <laughs> the other ones were a little, the uh, cello was a little heavy. Other than that, guys, that's about it right there. I hope you enjoyed um, the behind the scenes video of uh, Chris and I shoot. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. As I always say, God bless. Shoot, shoot smartly. If you can't uh, say anything nice or do anything nice, stick a shoe in your mouth and do what? Keep it moving. God bless. Take care, guys.